wondered why some people seem to glide through relationships while others seem to stumble at every turn? Why is it that you may be struggling to make your relationship work? Could it be possible that you're not ready for a relationship? I want to make it clear that there is nothing wrong with being single. In fact, sometimes it is better to be single than be in a relationship that doesn't make you happy. Being single can be a great opportunity for you to focus on yourself, your well-being, your career, your goals. So don't feel pressured to be in a relationship because everyone else is. However, if you do want to be in a relationship, you need to make sure you're ready for it. A relationship is not something you just jump into without thinking about it. It requires commitment, compromise, communication, and compatibility. It also requires you to be emotionally mature, mentally stable, and financially responsible. Yes, you heard me right. Financially responsible. Otherwise, you will be hurting not just yourself, but your partner. So how do you know if you're ready for a relationship or not? Here are five signs that you're not ready for a relationship right now. Sign one, you are still hung up on your past. We all have history and it is this history that shapes our present. If you're still nursing wounds from your past relationship, it might be difficult for you to commit to a new relationship. If you're still thinking about your ex, talking them on social media, wishing that you come back together with them, then you are not ready for a new relationship. You need to heal from your past hurt, let go of your ex, and move on with your life. I know it is easier said than done, but you cannot move on to a new relationship if you've not dealt and healed yourself from your ex and your past hurts. If you don't handle the hurts from your past, you might not be able to commit in your new relationship you might end up comparing your current partner to your ex and this will breed unhealthiness and in all sincerity will be unfair to your new partner sign number two you are not happy with yourself how can you be happy with someone else if you're not happy with yourself this is practically impossible you need to love yourself before you can love someone else you need to accept yourself respect yourself and be confident in yourself. You need to work on your self-esteem, your self-care, and self-improvement. Otherwise, you would end up depending on your partner for validation and happiness, which is a huge burden and a recipe for disaster. Sign number three, you are not ready to compromise. Relationship and compromise are synonymous. A relationship is not a one-way street. It's a two-way street. If you're not ready to compromise, you aren't ready for a relationship. You need to be able to give and take, to listen and understand, to agree and disagree. You need to be able to respect your partner's preferences, opinions, and boundaries. You need to be able to find a middle ground, a balance, and a harmony. Otherwise, you would end up arguing, fighting, and resenting your partner. And this will lead to an unhealthy and unhappy relationship. And that's not what it's, you know. New to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Sharing this video with someone could be a great gift, you know. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment. Connect with me at Lady Dora Watson on all social media handles. Sign number four, you are not ready to commit. A relationship is not a casual fling. It's a serious bond. So if you're not ready to commit, you aren't ready for a relationship. You need to be faithful, loyal, and honest. You need to be able to stick to your partner through thick and thin, through good and bad, through ups and downs. You need to be able to make your partner your priority, a part of your life, and a part of your future. If you don't do this, you might end up cheating, lying, and ultimately breaking your partner's heart. The fifth sign that shows you are not ready for a relationship is if you are not ready to communicate. 
A relationship is not a silent movie. It's a dialogue. You need to be able to talk and listen, to express and understand, to share and support. You need to be able to open up, to be vulnerable, to be honest. You need to be able to discuss your feelings, your thoughts and your needs and your wants. If you don't do this, you would end up misunderstanding, misinterpreting, and hurting your partner. So if you are not ready to communicate, my dear ones, you are not ready for a relationship. These five signs could be an indication that you are not ready for a relationship right now. If you recognize any of these signs in yourself, don't worry. It doesn't mean that you are doomed to be single forever. No. It just means that you need time to work on yourself to grow as a person and to prepare yourself for a very beautiful relationship and when you're ready you'll find someone ready for you too i hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel comment below i'd love to hear from you you know i love to leave you with a scripture every week this week i'm leaving you with Philippians chapter 1 from verse 9 to 10, which says, And it is my prayer that your love may abound more and more with knowledge and all discernment, so that you may approve what is excellent and so be pure and blameless before the day of Christ. Thank you for listening and watching. And until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay in love. Bye.